a new day, the same old project, you know, uh, let's talk about uh, this air body bidirectional, you know, it's been a lot of talking about these amplifiers and uh, let's clear something. Let me start with nano VNA. You see, we have two ports here. So this is a uh, channel zero and channel one. Let's make it simple, you know. Channel zero, it's transmitting and channel one, it's receiving. So in our case, measuring the gain of an amplifier or the loses in a cable or something like this, all we need is a, a TX and RX. Of course, channel one have that reverse uh, reception it's called s11 okay doesn't matter in our case let's say now we are just taking care about the transfer from channel 0 to channel 1 obviously this is on 0 you see we have 0 0.13 db so channel 0 it's capable of transmitting 0 db i assume as long as the maximum transmitting power of this device is 0 dB. Channel 1 will receive a max of 0 dB. When you measure an amplifier, a must is an attenuator. This is my attenuator, it's 21.88 dB. Of course, the Nano VNA, it was calibrated before in a range of 800 to 910 megahertz. It's a must to calibrate nano VNA before every uh, operation, you know, every measurement, you know, antenna, cable, amplifier, and so on. Luckily, this model, June 9, 2021, this version, it's okay because it remembers the calibration. So if I'm working in this uh, domain from 800 to 910 I don't need to do recalibration all the time no he remembers the the values all right let's take a look at these guys uh, you know these are bidirectional amplifiers right so it's supposed to work one way or the other way they are bidirectional no well it's not exactly like that they are bidirectional because they are working both ways but but here is a big but you know <laughs> let's say we have the input that's the antenna here okay very simple this is input antenna and that's the output going to the minor or radio or something anyway to have it the other way we have another amplifier going like this so the signal now comes from the minor and goes to the antenna Okay, but you see here is something strange because if you put them like this in this configuration, there is a loop on the, you know, it's kind of feedback stuff anyway. So it's not working like that. So what can we do? We have the antenna here and we have a relay, a switch. Okay, we are going this way to Eric's part or arm minor and here we have another relay okay and this goes to the minor radio and so on this is the rx side now if we take it here we're gonna have also an amplifier but up the other way and this is for tx now comes the difference between these two arms you know rx and tx okay it's bi-directional but each of the arms have a different function. First of all, for the Eric's part, this is a LNA. So it's a low noise amplifier. It's working with very, very low signals here. Let's say minus 20 dB from the antenna and gives a 10 dB amplification. And we have here, theoretically, a minus 10 dB output of course we have losings here we have losings here we have a filter here so we have but this is the general aspect of the things the other way this is an rf power amplifier it takes a level like uh, let's say how much uh, a minor can put out let's call it 5 db so it's taking a 5 db in very very high signal 
no doubt it's a huge difference between minus 20 but i'm what i'm talking about minus 20 let's talk minus 120 and that's the numbers much more uh, uh, close to reality and then uh, we have a 10 db here and then we have a amplification or something you know so takes 5 db from the from the minor it's amplifying with another 5 db and we have a 10 db output to the antenna so this is the main difference between these two arms one it's for low noise and low signal two amplifier this amplifier should have a very proper noise to have a, a signal noise ratio as high as possible so here on this side on eric's side it's not a matter of power it's a matter of amplification okay gain but the other way this one here here is a matter of power now i'm gonna have a little experiment and uh, this is a pretty crazy setup i'm gonna use nano vna like a radio transmitter but because the level of uh, the output of uh, s0 on nano vna it's so small it's like zero db i have to use another amplifier and this one will switch on a b1 the radio is set up on 868 megahertz and uh, theoretically we should see the radio signal on the screen the radio is up and running here is my radio and let's start the experiment okay nano vna is on the amplifiers are on both of them okay we have lights let me choose here stimulus cw frequency 868 megahertz and you can see there already we have a kind of peak and this one is coming from nano vna through this little amplifier you see now it's gone let me connect the amplifier and we have the signal so this is very clear working now let's connect the a b and we should see and there we are like i said now the nano vna it's triggering the tx function on this guy and i don't even need an antenna see results all the harmonics coming by let me see if i can change the tx power i don't see any change there on the signal if we connect it the other way no chance it's not triggering yeah once again no input eric's mode input connected takes mode and we have plenty of signal there and we have a very clear tx uh, light here but it's a very simple tx signal the signal from uh, the minor the lora signal are much more complex this is a very simple one let's see if it's running like this kind of but we have a much better look there okay i don't know if i'm clear but i think it's important to understand that there are absolutely different amplifiers two amplifiers in this case and they are absolutely different doing absolutely different job okay i hope it's useful and i'll be back uh, soon with some other stuffs please like please subscribe and don't forget have fun bye bye